everybody, it's Patty, Rockstar Mom. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you some empties. Uh, rarely do I have empties. Uh, rarely. I, I just, uh, if I empty something, I'll go ahead and throw it away. I'll forget to keep it. Uh, but for the most part, I have so many products that are open and started. And just during this isolation since the early part of March, I have been using product that I have. I've been concentrating on using product that is already almost empty. There's just not much left and I've decided that if it's still good product, I'm going to go ahead and just use it up and get rid of it. So that's what this video is about. It's what I've used up, what I'm getting rid of, and uh, I think you'll be interested to see the wide variety of things. Jim and I did go to the beach. We've been in the last week or so twice for sunset. And uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen pictures, or on Facebook maybe, you've seen pictures of us. And the little beach that we go to, we're very fortunate that people are being very respectful there. They're really keeping their social distancing. Even if they're in little family or friend groups, uh, they're keeping their distance. Uh, it's like everybody just sort of knows. And people are 20, 30 feet apart from each other. And it's if you look at the beach, people are just sort of staggered. But the other night when we were there, a couple of nights ago, I had my camera, and I'm telling you, the sunset was magnificent. It was absolutely beautiful. It's always beautiful. And I must have a million pictures on my phone of the sunset. But the other night, it seemed particularly pretty. And I even took my sunglasses off, and I filmed through the lens of my sunglasses the sunset. And uh, throughout this video, I'm going to just show you little pictures, little snippets of the sunset from different angles that I took a couple of nights ago when we were on the beach to, to just observe the sunset and all of its glory. Let's just start right off the bat with something very personal and it's my deodorant and I am not hugely picky about deodorant. Most things work on me, but uh, I've been wearing the, or using the Dove dry sprays, uh, the 48 hours, although I don't go, who would go 48 hours? This is the one, Revive, is what this one is. And as I say, I'm not picky with these. So uh, I've already bought, had all, I had a back, I had a backup of this already. I have had this sitting in with my makeup for quite a while now and I'm finally going to throw it away. It, I, From what I understand, IT Cosmetics came out with this foundation several months ago and evidently there was something wrong with it. I don't know the story on it, but they, I don't know if they had a recall. If they had a recall, I missed it. Uh, I bought it off of QVC or Home Shopping, one of those channels. But it's the Confidence Center Foundation, all free, long wear, weightless, full coverage, all day confidence, water matte finish. And number one, the color was way off. It says medium, but it was almost white on me. It was horrible, horrible, horrible. I think I wore it once or twice and I had to doctor it up so much that I stopped using it and probably should have sent it back, but I think it, by then it was way after the 30 days. And so um, it's gonna be thrown away, finally. Speaking of foundations, uh, the Carmody, and I wore the, this foundation in the very last video that I did just a few days ago, and I had some good responses for it, and I tell you, I really do like this. It's by Carmody. She was the makeup artist who used to be on the U.S. version of What Not to Wear, and she is on, Eve, I believe she's on QVC every once in a blue moon. I've only seen her on there two or three times, but the first time I actually saw her was back in the fall, I think, on their Day of Beauty. And I bought the set of, uh, 
a set that she had that I believe it had a crayon pencil, it had uh, for a concealer, it had a primer and a tube like this, it had the foundation and you chose your color foundation. I chose medium and that was perfect for me by the way this is what I have on today. Uh, but on the label, and this is how I listed it, it's called the Carmandizing, C-A-R-M-A-N-D-I-Z-I-N-G Foundation. And I really do like this foundation. Now, I will say that when I received that first kit, when I went to use this foundation, the tube was empty, uh, or almost empty. And I called, uh, I believe it was QVC, I called them and they sent me out another whole kit and I returned the first one. But um, I really do like this foundation. I think there was a face powder compact and as I said the concealer pencil, the primer, and this. I rarely use the primer. I use the pencil some. I rarely use the powder. But I definitely would purchase just this foundation again. I really do like it. I have maybe a couple of more days in there and I know some of you are going to tell me, oh, you can cut that top off and get a whole lot more out of it and I'm aware of that. I always do that, but what I like about it is it's the pump and it's, it's convenient. I love the coverage. I really do like this. Speaking of IT Cosmetics Foundations, uh, I have a Celebration Foundation illumination in medium that I is going bye-bye. Uh, as you can see, I hit pan big time. I'm going to take that little brush out of there because I keep all those little brushes. But I really did like this. I would buy it again. Toothpaste. I have been using this toothpaste for a few months now. Uh, this is my second one, and I've already bought a third one. I'm on my third one now, but it's called Hello Anti-Plaque Plus Whitening Fluoride Free. And this is in the Natural Peppermint. Now, I get this at Walmart, and I love it. I really do love it. Already replaced it, already on another tube. Be another foundation at the bottom here. I bought this foundation a while ago, a long time ago. Uh, it's by Clinique and it's the Beyond Perfecting. It's um, it's okay but it's getting a funky smell. The little bottom label has worn off so I'm not sure about the uh, color on this but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this. Uh, I'm not, not happy with the smell. I've used up a mascara, a Milani highly rated mascara, and I replaced this just before the quarantine started with uh, another Milani that uh, I listed it in the last video, but I, I much prefer this one. Highly rated in black. I have used up a little CoverGirl uh, brow, ultra fine brow pencil. It has the spoolie on this end, and there's about ugh, just a teeny little piece left there, but I'm going to go ahead and let that go. I have also am giving up this CYO Coal Gel Eyeliner, and this, when I use it, it settles in the corners of my eyes. And so I'm always having to clean out the corner of my eye when I wear this. And I've just decided to go ahead and get rid of it. That way I won't pick it up and use it. I love this. This is the Mally Shadow Stick Extra. And it's in the color of Burnished Bronze. And I could probably, it won't even wind up. I could, there's product down in there. I might could take a small brush and dip it down in and use that uh, to put it on my eyes, but would I buy this again? Definitely. If, if it's being, I've had this for a while, so if this is still available in this color, this was my favorite color in these, I, bought, I think I got a set of about three or four, 
uh, when I bought them, but this is by far my favorite color. It's the color that looks the best on me. So yes, I would definitely purchase this again. In fact, I'm gonna leave it out so that I can see if I can find it. The next to the last thing is uh, a tub of Josie Marin, Marin, Josie Marin Whipped Argan Oil Ultra Hydrating Body Butter. I love these. Have you tried these? She's on, you can see it's gone. She's on uh, QVC, I believe. And I ordered a set of these originally. And I have gone through them and I ordered another set. I like the unfragranced. I think she has some in fragrances, but I prefer the unfragranced. And I love this. I use it all over my body. I already have some more of these. And then the very last thing is one of my favorite products in the whole world. And you're going to see this uh, in an upcoming video uh, when I do my skincare video that I'm working on. Uh, I've been using this now for several months, and this is actually this was my second bottle. I've already started on my third bottle, so that tells you how much I like it. It's uh, again, I get this off of Home Shopping HSN. It's the Skin Cosmetics Divine Elixir Luminous Skin Oil Manuka Honey Plus C. This would be for me a desert island product, and. I absolutely love it. It has fantastic reviews. This is very, very, very instrumental in my skincare. I love it. So this is this is going away because I've already opened my third bottle. And would you believe I have two bottles left in my stash? That's how much I like it. When I see it on any kind of a special, I've been buying it. I love this. It takes the place of so many other products. Love it, love it, love it. And that's it, my bag is empty. First time in a long, long time that I have had any empties, uh, or had empties, enough empties to even make a video. I'm continuing to use product that uh, is coming close to hitting the bottom of the jar, and uh, for as long as I'm home, that's what I'm gonna do. Obviously, I'm not buying any new skincare or any new uh, color type cosmetics, but uh, just wanna try to, this is just a good time to use up what I have. I wanna thank you so much for watching. What a difficult time for all of us. I know that for many of you, you really do need to get out there and get back to work and, and you are in positions where you're not at such a heavy risk that you can do that. And then there are others, like me, uh, for a variety of reasons, you still need to be at home. Whether it's age, whether it's your health, uh, for whatever reason. We need right now to just do what is best for us. And we know. I, no one can tell us. We know. We're all such smart women. Uh, we, we know. We know whether or not we need to be at home. We know whether or not we need to be out supporting our families. I know that we will do the right thing. I want to thank you so much for watching. You know how much I love you. I, I, I miss, I've truly missed not being able to uh, film the way I used to film. And, and who knows, this, it may come back to uh, filming in that little tiny bathroom or maybe taking you on walks. It may come back to that. Uh, the scientists, the experts are predicting a second wave of this. and. And especially as we're opening up our economy and more and more of us are getting out and probably not being as cautious as we should be, we're going to see. It's very obvious we're going to see more. Just, just know that I'm thinking about you and that uh, I love you. I want you to remember even 
even in your isolation. Be kind. Just be kind. Just be kind, okay? I love you, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.